Welcome to my workshop. I keep developing the Cyberbike and in this episode I want to show you how cool 3D printers are. I've been designing these panels and it's really difficult design task but this way we have a modular system so you can have any color you want. This panel, that's the tricky one. I seriously start with whatever is easier in that moment for the specific purpose. This time I just took a cardboard, roughly cut the shape with scissors, super easy, and I got an idea how I want it. Transfer the shape on an MDF because that's easy to follow with a pencil on, a, on some kind of a paper. That's a nice template. Then I take this template, transfer it to dimensional surface, <laughs> and then I just print a template from a 3D printer. And this is essentially a digitized version of what I created physically. So I had to figure out some kind of a joint because on the other side I didn't want to wait for the process of 3D printing and then gluing this overnight again. So I wanted to have a mechanical lock that you just lock it in and stays and you can move on right away. So this is the final result. It's ready essentially to be glued in. It fits absolutely perfectly and this is how I imagined. But Getting here, getting to this point, that was a mission. Some panels are pretty easy. It's just a two-dimensional shape with some cutouts for cables and uh, this is pretty simple. This panel and this side one will be glued in, they'll be fixed and there'll be some foam inside so the charging cable doesn't rattle. And also one single trick, this will be a nice storage for wallet keys and maybe a phone. It took some time to design all these panels but it was definitely worth it because now we have all of these different parts with a specifically designed lock, so you can have any color palette you can imagine. This is a simple panel that I would create out of the plastic, I would say when I have a template in good 10 minutes. But it needs to be a little bit more intelligent, especially when you can 3D draw anything and print it afterwards. So first of all, I started with two pieces like this with a simple joint that I expected I'll just epoxy in. It fits pretty nicely. I actually had a masking tape to hold this together so I can work with this much easier. I just didn't like the join here because I feel like composition, that should be closer to the edge. So that's what I did in the following one. This right away looks much more sophisticated. We have a little hook that it goes like this and then you push it down here. And also 
This is much smarter joint that you could notice doesn't fall apart anymore. So then the following stage was uh, pretty obvious, just finished panel. I just started printing different versions, different colors. So this one is Galaxy Black and this one is Jet Black. I'm still learning the proper technique how to do this, but once I got it, that'll be fast. And then it clicks like this. This tail light went through some development. This holder, first I started experimenting with uh, shapes and, uh, and how, it, how it's actually supposed to look like and make sure it's thick enough to not, to, uh, not to break it when you hit it with pants when you're getting on and off the bike. So this was my first version. I created a second version that was a little bit stripped off, was stretched. To me, this is just, this is just a little bit too big. So now I'm making this version. Ooh, I love this. So all of this is in fill. So that should hopefully come out pretty nicely. These 3D printers are from Prusa. That's a Czech company that found me on a, on a YouTube and decided to help me out and support my development. So this was an amazing donation from them and these printers work like a dream for me. So thank you very much. Let's take a look at this uh, mount, if it actually fits. Wow, this is so much lighter and a uh, subtle than this. This is like uh, from 70s and this is a nice light version. This bottom part, that was the tricky one. But again, making this out of two pieces that would click together and I would have to glue them. That was the tricky part. So some of the versions were pretty good. At first I started experimenting with these clips and how it uh, clicks inside. Then the log, I started printing samples and trying different versions. So this is my final solution. It goes together like this. You don't even see the joint. It's nice and easy and it pushes hard uh, against the seat from the bottom anyways. This is more of my workflow, what I'm about to show you now. Because this is how I work in stages, that I keep copies of everything before I do any kind of a step. And this is now the collection of prototyping a piece. This is how I began with a simple model at the beginning. Uh, this uh, dimensions were a little bit off. I didn't even have this curve for, for the uh, frame. Then I'm changing angle here, curve here. Then you see curve here again, some adjustments. This is version one. This is my latest version. It's so thin that I didn't even have space for the wires. So this needs to be adjusted. This is what I sent that. So that will be my following stage. And these are pretty much copies of uh, how I progress just in case I need something from that previous version, I already have it. This one is something. <laughs> this is something. This is how I began. Sample, original shape, just in case I need it. Adjusted shape. This printed sample you saw. This is the hinge and templates.
and then look at that this is the back undercover you saw some stages physically this is one of these complicated ones so this is extra support this is different lock here compared to this one and <laughs> it is just never-ending progress the follow-up videos will be really cool because we'll be putting on arduino controlling signal lights controlling brake light daylights all of that cool stuff follow-up videos will be obviously test riding and that will be the blast thanks so much to our patrons who support us in this creation and also content creation if you want to donate us beyond the comment section please check out our patreon account and consider sponsoring us the link is down in the description and check out the first previous video that was introducing the cyberbike right here stay tuned and see you next time in another episode